Hey, I'm Billy Harris. You're hanging with Harris. We are in New York City at Toro. See, you're laughing already. It's good. My good friends Ken Oranger, Jamie Bissonette. What's happening, fellas? Hanging with Harris. Hanging with Harris, man. Connecticut guy, Jersey guy, ended up in Boston. Now you're in New York. We got Toro rolling. What's the thing? It's just food that we love to cook that we want people to love to eat. I mean, there's no rules. It's Spanish tapas, but uh, I like that you said tapas. That's the real. A way lot to of say it's it, inspired right? by Spain, but we don't like to uh, stick to one style. Do you think your particular style of cooking um, really affects the way you're doing tapas? You have your style. You have your style. I, I think what's great about small places is that there really are no rules. You can take influence from any kind of cuisine and, and you know put it on put it on the plate and make it delicious. And it's nice because people don't get bored with it. Sometimes when you're eating a big plate with like 20 bites or 30 bites, you, sure. know, you get tired of it. Here, just when people say, you know what, it's as good as it's bad, they're done and they think we're great. And uh, you know, it's uh, hopefully. The, the exception to that rule being paella. <laughs> Look at that. And speaking of paella, Jamie, yeah. I was told that's what we're gonna do today. Yes, we are. Do we wanna do it right now? Because we need some time to do the Toro paella. Well, you were late as usual, so I'm hungry. Let's go. Yeah, we're all hungry. All right, <laughs> we're going in, we're gonna do the paella, you're gonna show them what go we ahead, got. Billy, underneath. All right, fellas, paella time. Walk me through the process. What's that? This is a paella pan. It's a paella pan. Hey. Unbelievable. That's yeah. olive oil, Billy. Olive oil. So we're gonna add just like a little bit of garlic. Okay. Start cooking that off. Some onions. We cooked them off a little bit ahead of time. Okay. A lot of olive oil. Got it. Otherwise, it takes like Boom. 25 extra minutes. I like this. It's a little dump and stir right now. Exactly. That's the way we do it. Isn't that the term when you're working the line? Dump and stir. Yeah, exactly. Stir the pot like that dance you always do at the clubs. I know. Oh, I'm going to be doing <laughs> it right now. Peppers, onions, garlic. Always. Every paella that you make, this, this, is, is, this uh, is the base. This we is the base. This. The sofrit, it's called. We'll add the tomato. You guys cook together a lot. You kind of have like a thing going on. Yeah. You're like the old guy he's stirring. He's like, <laughs> he's like the old Jamie. guy. Jamie's, Jamie's like bam, bam, bam. He does this. Ken's, Ken's like this. Ken's like, Ken's like my grandmother like this in the pan. He's just sitting here doing it. <laughs> With paella, you can stir at the beginning. Once the rice goes, then you don't touch it. Then you don't touch it. Never. Yes. Chorizo. A little chorizo, a little spice. So that fat and what is this skin? It's not a tomato paste. It's like a. It's, well, yeah. So we take it's sofrito. You can make it out of anything. Sofrito. But that one's made out of tomatoes and onions and lots of olive oil. Nice. One of the things I think a lot of people do is they use way too much saffron. Just a little bit for some flavor. Special chicken. Some chicken thighs. Bissonette chicken. Bissa chick. Bissa chick. But the chicken thighs you got to use instead of uh, white meat because you, uh, you want something that's going to still be juicy and not dry out. You know, in about 30 minutes. Get a little bit more fat in there. Okay. A little and Spanish then, olive oil. Yeah. And now, add the rice. And like risotto, Billy, you want to make sure you coat all the rice with uh, olive Everything. oil. Yeah. Right, got it. But then, unlike risotto, once it starts cooking, right. you unlike don't mess risotto, it. you don't stir it. Yeah. So you just it creates this like meniscus on top. So the okay. least amount of times you break it, the more the rice really absorbs all the flavors. A little stock. Uh, more a little than a little stock. stock. More than a little stock. Yeah. Lobster stock. Veg stock. And now this is the thing. This is where the magic this happens. This is it. Yeah. All right, so we're just adding some clams and let it all simmer down now. Yeah, just throw them in, let them open up. All right, so this is zhuzhing, clams are opening, sausages sausaging, need some muscles. When the clam opens, it's time to add the muscle. Hey, Billy, see how it's getting more viscous now also? That's gonna uh, form the seal that you want to really get everything cooking and still get the sokora on the bottom, which is the uh, really great Toasted, crunchy rice sure. that uh, everybody loves. I'm still trying to figure butter. out what this this means on top. Clams, mussels, chorizo, mise en face, chicken. Need the shrimp. Needs the shrimp. Already marinated. They look like they got a thing going yeah. on. Marinated in casgabel chili and olive oil. Casgabel. Yeah. Chili and olive oil. Bring in the flavor, and then uh, with these, you're just gonna poach them for two minutes. All right. So lots of layers of complexity happening in the paella pan. Now with these, you want to just kind of half bury them a little bit just so they, uh, the heat will cook them. Jamie Ken, paella done here? We're ready, ready to roll, go. Bill. Done, here it is. GTG. GTG, good to go. It's the paella, the Toro paella. Finishing with a little olive oil. Olive oil. And a little scallions. scallions. You hungry? I am hungry. All right. Paella done. That looks good. It looks amazing. This is the Toro this, Billy. paella. I'm looking. Socaran there too. Socaran. Socaran. That's the part you probably want to eat, there right? He's go. going right Absolutely. into that. What do you think? It's friggin' awesome. All I did is have the sukkara. There's something about paella. Clams, the mussels, the chorizo, the chicken, and it's all yummy. So when you're in New York City, come to Toro, Ken Oranger, Jamie Bissonette. Thanks for hanging with Harris. 
Blast, man. Thanks for coming in. Was it in. a blast? Was it Thanks good for you? you? Always good with Always you. Always good. Always good. And we'll see you real soon.